Hello, hello, everyone. Welcome. It's Sunday. I see a bunch of you on here already. I'm on time. Look at that. And I've, I got my London Pride shirt on. Hello, everyone. We've got the whole crowd here, which is awesome. Hopefully it's a good view, you can see me okay, the sound is good, and uh, let's start off with a sound check, remember, um, I am broadcasting in 1080p, which is the highest technology and the highest uh, broadcast that we can do, also the best audio, if you're over on Facebook seeing me, I'm not monitoring comments on there, so if you want to come and join the chat, please come over to YouTube youtube.com forward slash neil archer and join the chat the, the, the chat the chat <laughs> can't speak it's pretty chilly here in georgia i put the fire on this morning it was awesome <laughs> and then i had a really really lazy morning the Liverpool game, then I watched Man City Arsenal, Arsenal Man City, then I watched the Grand Prix. Now I gotta go to work and come and entertain you folks. Alright, let's do a little sound check. Here's one that I haven't done for a while, and I know that it's a favorite of a lot of you. Sit back, relax, enjoy, and let me know if it's uh, distorting in any way, and I can change it.
What a great start, <laughs> right? Brilliant, brilliant song. It was... <clears throat> Wind of Change by the Scorpions. We've only just begun. I'm using my tenth, uh, my tenths a lot. I see there's some new people on here. <clears throat> Special welcome to you guys. If you're here for the first time, where have you been all this time? But it's good to see you. Good to see you. All right, some Billy Joel. Let's do this on uh, piano number six. Got to do this one. It's the probably his most fav famous. Again, if you're on, um, is it that one? It is that one. Yeah. Yeah, the great sound. Great sound. So this is Yamaha uh, NU1X. It's an Avant Grand uh, digital upright piano. It's got all the action of an acoustic, but it's got no strings and it's got no hammers. It's just it nothing there. So um, you can change the sounds. <laughs> this is electric piano. This is sound number six, and I'm going to do just the way you are. I'm going to do this nice and slow. I can't, can't speed this up because I was told before on my first arrangement, which has got over 100,000 views, that it was way too fast, so I did another one. So let's do this just the way you are.
song. Great artist. Thanks, Funny Socks, for the tip. This is one of my favorite Billy Joel songs. It's live, you see. mistakes in there but uh, you get the gist drift gist get the drift get the gist all right uh, Amy thank you for that uh, super chat you know a super chat works if you're here for the first time there's a little dollar sign there you can uh, put a little tip there for a, a request and I see it very clearly um, you don't have to but uh, it helps the channel Let's do sound, sound number 15 because there's some strings on this. It's just piano. Ah, thank you, Steve. Little tip jar, it is. I do the timestamps tomorrow because I do put the timestamps on every day after the live stream. That bit will be missing, and hopefully, people will skip past it. You guys heard it because it was live.
All right, I guess I don't just play these songs. I try and do all of that. Up and down and then up and then down <laughs> with uh, some bum notes in there. So I apologize for the bum notes, but... All right, I think I just got a tip for us for a request. Oh, well, Lisa Adams get here. Brilliant song. Thank you so much, Ant. <coughs> I gotta gotta remember it. Um uh, but, 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 but I'm trying to think of the key that I do it in. I think it's B is I start in B flat. I think it's E flat. I don't know. We'll we'll try it. There it is. E flat bass. Thank you, Jeff. I'm doing this on ballad piano, which is sound number four on this. It's a little mellow. Um, it's got some nice bass notes, so let's see how it sounds on the ballad piano.
All right. Great. I will come to that Coldplay. Listen, if you're on Facebook, unfortunately, I'm not able to um, monitor the comments on there. So come on over to YouTube, which is youtube.com forward slash Neil Archer. You'll see the live stream on there. If you're not subscribed, think of it. Sign in with your Gmail account. And if you haven't got one, just create a Gmail address and uh, join the chat. And then I'll be able to see your comments. All right. Um... She's like the wind. Why, it's been a long time since I've done that one. I'm trying to think of it again. My mind is... Let me have a drink. Let's see, if we can see if it will come to me. I'm trying to think of it. Again, C to E base, is it? <clears throat> I'm trying to think. I know I can play it. I know if you were here, you'd sing it to me. Yeah, with the sheet music, you know, just to run around with those chords, just improvising, of course, you know. <laughs> just improvising around those chords because it's easy. You've got the sheet music there, right? So you've got the chord sequence. Just play around with it, just like I did at the end there. <clears throat> I hardly ever play these songs the same each time I play them. I don't know how I remember the Molly. I really don't. Uh... 
All right, I was asked for some Coldplay from somebody on Facebook. <clears throat> And then if you were at a Coldplay concert, as the band or just leaving off on that chord, Chris Martin would go. And then all the crowd 
would sing along. All 60,000 of them. Sixty thousand would go crazy, like you're doing on there. Great to see so many people on here. I never know who's coming on. All I know is that I put it out there. Hey, I'm going to be live. All right, something Walsy. Hey, Amy, thank you for the ten dollars. I see that my dad asked twice now for um, the blue Danube, so. the blue Danube, this is the gold and silver wells, the gold and silver wells goes like this
what about this one? I can see you talking about it.
So that was called the Emperor Waltz. We did the gold and silver waltz. We did the skaters waltz. We did the blue Danube. as close to classical as I'll ever get. I did love those waltzes when I was growing up as a kid. I really didn't do a lot of classical stuff, but that kind of semi-classic, I guess it's, what is it? Soft classic? I don't know what you would call it. It's almost classical. I did this one as well. Remember this? the Radetzky March and then um, what else from um, this is all Johann Strauss this is like listening to Andre Ryu right now <laughs> you know this one this is called the Thunder and Lightning Polka So on and so on and so on. It's a few of them, right? <laughs> Some of the really old stuff. All those marches and polkas and waltzes. Again, that's about as classical as I got. You know, it really bugs me. Can you see? This is a gloss piano cleaner. <laughs> I got fingerprints right there. And it bugs me. 
so. <laughs> I clean it often. <laughs> I always get my grubby fingerprints on. All right. And I did prepare another beer. <laughs> So I did get a tip here for a, 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 sh a song, two songs actually you mentioned. Man on the Moon by R.E.M. Stranger on the Shore by Agabilt. Unforgettable, the old classics. It's got to be unforgettable, I'm afraid. I can't remember. Stranger on the Shore. song. song lovely song I kind of copied that arrangement from 
Nat King Cole's version, of course, you know. First of all, it was his solo version with the saxophone solo in the key change, and then it was him and Natalie Cole doing the duet, which I thought was incredible, especially the video when you saw them both singing it together. VJF, thank you so much for the 20 bucks. Thank you. I love your little dancing. What is he, a hippo? <laughs> I love it. Thank you. All right, so... um. Unfortunately, the sheet music won't be available for that. It's one of the publishers that will not allow third-party replications of uh, sheet music, and this one is the same. It's the same publisher, um, but again, so I was it was asked for, so I'm going to play it. It's a beautiful song called "Smile." tell you what, when I make a mistake, I really make a mistake. <laughs> it's good and proper. Good and proper mistake. <clears throat> it's funny you're talking about clarinets and uh, saxophones. I gotta tell you, I went to one of the best schools when it came to music. Um, my music teacher actually started at high school, so I went to Doncaster. Doncaster Bowlby High School. Kerry Williams was his name. Um, Welsh guy. Music teacher. Um, it was amazing because he was just such a mega, mega musician. And, um, <laughs> you know, all the, the schools around us were doing play, uh, pantomimes and plays and school, school musicals. And we would, they were doing uh, Joseph and they were doing Evita and they were doing anything else that you can think that's pretty easy, pretty standard, right? Guess what we did? We did at our school, at Bowlby High School, we did... Mozart's The Magic Flute. It was an opera, full-fledged, with a full orchestra. And I remember him taking me to one side. So he used to let me play piano in assembly, school assembly. Remember that? If you're from England, you'll remember it. You used to go into, you'd go and, you know, get your, your report card, you're here, right? And then you'd all roll into assembly, class by class, everybody. So I used to play the piano for the hymns, and he used to let me do that. But he pulled me, he pulled me to one side, and he's like, Neil... 
you're never ever going to properly understand music and you're never going to properly make money unless you learn another instrument. And he forced me to learn the clarinet. And I got to tell you, I hated it. I hated the clarinet. Just hated it. I couldn't deal with it. And first of all, I had to read music. And I had to read the sheet music with this clarinet. And he put me in an orchestra. I used to go to practices. I used to go to the rehearsals. And I did not like it. Did not like it at all. Which makes me think. Uh, sa- Vanessa started playing the saxophone years ago. I-, I got one over here. I can't reach it. Let me go grab it. I don't even know if I remember how to hold it. God, it's so weird. Ah, oh, there's no read in it. There's no read in it. Vanessa must have taken it out. But that's the sax. <laughs> I was going to try. I just, I was gonna try. I was gonna try and get a sound out of it. What? Ca- oh, you got a case? She might have some reeds. I don't even know if I can remember how to put a reed in. You have to wet it, right? <laughs> it's a piece of wood. <laughs> a, you do. Let me have one. We might get. We might have a reed here. Yeah, that's it. Brand new. Brand new. (laughs) All right, which way does it go? I gotta take these little pins out. Not pins out, but. Yeah, it's not going to go in. It's not going to go in. The reed. Because I'm out of practice with this, you see. They they can see you down there. They tell me on the... <laughs> Probably needs lubricating and cleaning and... All right, I'm going to have to, what's that? Oh, there's a lubricant thing here. I don't know. Oh, well, I tried, I tried. No, it's okay. I just, I just it's on the fly that I did this. <laughs> I'd love to hear Vanessa play it too, Amy. <laughs> she said she's going to start again. I was going to do it, but I can't remember how to put these reeds in. So for the next time, I'll try and get a sound out of it. I don't know why I looked at it. It was bringing my memories back about having to play the clarinet. And it's the same fingering and everything. And it's the same reed action. But I really didn't enjoy it. And this was like, um, what, 120 bucks off Amazon? It looks freaking awesome, doesn't it? 
looks really good. And she was playing it. There's a little saxophone book on there. <laughs> YouTube it. <laughs> Should. All right, just put it back on the floor for now. Uh, definitely the next live stream, yes. I should. I can't believe she, she found a read for me as well. That's what they are. They, it just goes on. I can't remember how you put it on, but hey, next time. Remember this one. Take you back to the late nineties.
That was called No Matter What, and it was done by Boyzone for that movie Notting Hill. All right, Amy, I'm going to do this. Just so a piano. Sade. Smooth operator. Great song. Great song, Amy. This is on sound number four. It's a little bit metallic y. Going back to the 80s, I'm sorry. Howard Jones, this is no, no one is to blame.
love those chords. Apologize. I, I guess I would. I look at these. Um, a lot of these piano players on YouTube nowadays that are doing little intros of this, the new stuff, and <clears throat> I, I just don't. I don't know it. I don't know any of it. You know, are you like me? Very rarely do I learn something. That's currently in the charts. And by the time I do find a song that I kind of can resonate a little bit with, it's already like a year and a half, two years old. I just can't get this new stuff. I'm, I, I just can't. Shack attack. <laughs> I'm 55 now, and um, I remember what was in the charts, you know, 80s, I was growing up as a teenager, because, you know, 80s boy here, I was a teenager, up until, I gotta work it out, 1988, right, I was, I was 20 in 1988, so all through those early to mid 80s, you know, um, But then I remember the 90s too, when you're on the dating scene and stuff. And even to the 2000s, I remember some of that stuff. But other than Buble and uh, you know Coldplay and the, the stuff that I, I really like to listen to. Gaga, Elton John, of course. You know, a lot of this new stuff, I, I just don't, I don't know. <laughs> five years behind me, Steve, good. Big, big 5-0. Are you big 5-0 already, or is it coming up? <laughs> so you're right, I shouldn't really apologize for the 80s Because, you know, I think that's my, my, my It's definitely my era Big 5-0 for you and Steve in December Wow, where's the party? Are we having a party? It's good as well that we're seeing that sheet music for Christmas songs, people are buying it already. It's October. I know. And listen, if you need some Christmas sheet music, you know where to go. Neil Archer Music Notes. I've got 47, I think, 47 Christmas songs on Music Notes. My favorite 80s track has got to be Careless Whisper, without a doubt. Careless Whisper, George Michael, without a doubt. I think that was just like the ultimate song of the 80s, <clears throat> in my opinion. It was just the start of it, do -do -do -do. and then the saxophone come up. So that's number one. Number two, it's got to be this one. No matter where you were in the world, you knew that song, right? And it played all through 1980. They're my two numbers, two, two of my favorite songs from the 80s. Careless Whisper, number one, true, number two, in those orders, that order. How many people agree with me? How many agree with me? Are you on the same page? Tell me your, tell me your favorite song from the 80s. <laughs> Saxophone, right? Fabulous song. 
Really miss it. Really miss George Michael. I wish he was still here. Oh, Ollie agrees. Amy agrees. Two great, great songs of the eighties. And not forgetting, um, Frankie goes to Hollywood. Man, they were superb. I remember getting their tw "Welcome to the Pleasure Dome" album. They were very controversial at the time, but I think that was a little bit with Mike Reed at the time that just wouldn't uh, play their stuff. Relax, remember that? Relax, Two Tribes. It was just a great band and just, um, yeah, Nick Kershaw was good as well, Ant. Yeah, brilliant song as well. Just so many bands of that era, Duran Duran, Spandau Ballet, Eurythmics, and a lot of British too, a lot of British, British bands that really became the second British invasion to the United States, right? And you turn, yeah, mom, my mom shout and turn it down. <laughs> oh, Ruby, thank you. Nobody loves you like, no, nobody loves me like you do. All right. I w and I'm getting Shack Attack for... Is it Steve? Steve, right? Was it Steve that asked for Shack Attack? I'm going to put some reverb on for this one, too. What a beautiful song. If you haven't got the sheet music to this one, and if you haven't listened to it, it's... It, I think it was off the Whitney album, right? The first one? Nobody, like, Nobody Loves Me Like You Do. It was Whitney Houston and Jermaine Jackson that sang this together. Beautiful, beautiful song. <clears throat> it's just gorgeous, and this. The piano so this intro is exactly as I'm going to play it. <clears throat> and the other thing for Smile, if you haven't heard Michael Jackson sing Smile, you have to listen to that. Michael Jackson, it was on his History album, and the way he sings it, it's just like when he sang She's Out of My Life, just so much emotion. So, no, Kershaw's not on music notes yet. So it's coming, it's coming. Um, and I think somebody asked where, when some new sheet music. There's 400 titles. <laughs> On sheet music, on the music notes of mine. So just scroll through them, and if you don't know the arrangements, if you go onto the onto the music, the sheet music on music notes, you'll see the video on the description portion of the sheet music. So you can play the video, and if it resonates with you, that sheet music is exactly corresponding to that video. So again, Jermaine Jackson, Whitney Houston. Nobody loves me like you do.
Lovely song, right? I hope you enjoyed it. Yeah. All right. Another one from the eighties. Yeah. <laughs> Let's start again. <laughs> Forget that one. I don't know what's going on. Maybe I'm tired of something. I don't know. <laughs> uh. It's coming. <laughs> you know it's coming. You can't keep her in a box forever. Can't keep her in a box forever. Just, just the intro, right? Just the intro. Gives you the EVGBs. <laughs> the car, they're all coming. They're all coming. Sooner or later, you can't you can't stop it. You just can't stop it. All right, so everyone, hope you've had a good time. <laughs> Stop the cavalry. It really is a good song. Wish I was at home for Christmas. 
It is a good song. It is a good song. All right, everyone, I'm going to be back in uh, three weeks. 29th, I'm going to be back here for another live stream. So don't miss me too much. You'll be getting some more songs. So do me a favor, like it, comment on it, share it, whatever you need to do. And I'm going to be doing more music <coughs> as um, time goes on. Kind of taking a step back from uh, real estate in, in many ways. Uh, you know, Vanessa reminds me that we came up here for a reason. And um, the reason was to do more of this, to do more sitting down on the piano, learning out new songs, learning new songs. Um, you know, making the sheet music available for you guys. And I, I've really not been doing that since we got here. And I was involved in a deal that turned into an absolute nightmare. And, you know, the, the deal is I've got a friend down, down there in Florida who is my feet on the street, of course. I can't do kind of everything because I'm five hours north of where the listings are. But this one got into a, just a, a legal issue. It was okay. I mean, it all ended the right way in the end but it just took a lot out of me we were out for dinner having drinks and Vanessa's like you know what I'm absolutely sick and tired of seeing you stressing over these stupid deals you know and listen it's it, it's emotional when you when you're selling a house and you kind of get sucked into that as a realtor <coughs> and I do feel like I do the best job I can for my clients and, and I do I, I, I genuinely care for them and, and so I kind of own oh, when something goes wrong like that i i own it and um <laughs> maybe i shouldn't but ethically i think i have to right as a realtor i do i have to care for my clients and um it was a it was a wake-up call that i i just really need to pull away from that stuff and and you know instead of being involved i just give it off to my colleagues down there and you know let them handle it so that's what i'm that's what i'm doing i'm, I'm just going to be referring out so that I just am not sucked into that emotion um, she is the best wife ever Mo most wives would be yelling at me to do more and make more money but she's not she's she's bless her you know I mean I made her quit two years ago three years ago when she was a court reporter and you know I could see her being stressed you know and I, I had a great couple of years as a realtor and real estate money was coming in but we made this move for a reason, and that was just to declutter and to downsize and to kind of just take it easier. And um, so I'm just telling you guys that that's what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be, you know, referring jobs out or referring homes out to other colleagues down there. You know, it's it's, it's a tough market in Florida right now. Everyone <laughs> everyone wants the most dollars they can get for their property, and, and most of them think it's what it was 18 months ago, a year or two years ago, and it's not. It's a really tough market in florida right now um so i just i'm letting you guys know that so that you know even just the the couple of referrals that i've given away in the last couple of weeks has really lifted a lot of stress from me you know and so i know that she was right so give her a round of applause she's she's awesome she really is So, life is too short to be stressed, it really is. If I don't have to be stressed, I'm not going to be stressed. All right, everyone, have a great couple of weeks, and I'll see you back here on the 29th. <laughs> she is, she's fantastic. I will buy her a drink. Uh, I, I, I can't drink, I can't buy her too many, though, because she gets silly. She does, she gets silly. We go. We go out for a, you know. I have a couple of beers. She has a. She has a wine, and then when she gets on the Cosmos, the Cosmopolitans, the Cosmos, right? Yeah. We went out last Friday. For two Friday, two Tuesdays ago. The <laughs> the bartender made a Cosmo. She got four drinks out of this tumbler. It, it was unbelievable. Yeah. <laughs> you remember that? You remember that? Do you know that intro?
All right, I had the piano on the track. We don't need the piano on the track because I'm doing the piano on the track. So let's start again. All right, let's start again. Right, folks, hope you've had a good time, as good a time as I have. Sorry if I didn't get to one of your requests. 
we could stay here all night, right? <laughs> Going through these requests, we really could. But uh, I have to go. It's been an hour and a half. Well, oh, it's been almost two hours. Look at that. Time flies. Thank you, everyone. We will see you soon. See you soon. See you soon. 29th, I'll be back. All right. Have a good couple of weeks. See you then. Happy birthday for all of those. You've got some birthday, October birthdays coming up. Thanks for joining me, everyone. It's always great to see your comments. And uh, oh, look at that roller den. Thank you so much. Steve, Vuk, Amy, my mom, my dad, Brian was here, Funny Socks, Holly Trumbull. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. Thank you, everyone. See you all soon. Check out the 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 uh, all the uh, timestamps tomorrow. You'll be able to shoot back to your favorite part of the stream. And cleverly, all the wrong notes will be missing. How about that? <laughs> See everyone. Bye bye.